had a fellow come out from Toronto and he wanted to get a job in the oil field really bad and he actually came out on a Monday afternoon arrived in Red Deer around 2.30 before the end of the day he already had a fixed address with UPS so he was actually able to give an address for you know Red Deer a mailing address he had a place to stay already he got his license converted over from uh, Ontario to Alberta he had his health care changed over from Ontario health care to Alberta health care and when he showed up the next day to do interviews he he was he impressed the recruiter so much because he was already prepared he was already an Albertan that the very first company that he went to said you know what we want to hire you we want to offer you employment uh, we'd like you to go for a blood test and physical and uh, if everything checks out with the orientation then uh, we, we certainly would like to bring you on board and uh, that was that he hadn't even been in Red Deer 24 hours and he already had a job offer because he had a he had the mindset of I'm gonna become an Albertan and uh, in fact I'm gonna become a resident of Red Deer I want a job I want them to know that I'm serious I'm here to stay and I'm not gonna go anywhere until I get a job so they they were so impressed they hired him straight away I would encourage anybody who's coming out to Red Deer to do a job search make make sure you become an Albertan become an Albertan as quickly as you can have a checklist of the things you gotta get done and if you can do a lot of these things before you even arrive in the city do them I guess um, another question I I probably want to ask you this is probably for people who are going to be wa uh, listening and, and watching and, and going on to my website and seeing this um, I, are we the real deal or what yeah I would definitely say that the investment to pay for the course and get the certification is something that you need and I mean there's different options you could do but would cost you more money uh, every place that I went into to hand the resume, that's the first questions that they ask. Do you have these tickets? And if you don't have them, they're not even interested in looking at you. Take a minute and check out the link in the description. This may be exactly what you're looking for.